from Best in One C, and for today's procedure, I will be doing the tepid sponge bath. Tepid sponge bath is the application of cold water to the surface of the skin by means of a wet sponge. Assessment: Assist the client for other signs of fever, skin warmth, flushing complaints of heat or chilling, diapoprocess, irritability, restlessness, general malaise or delirium. Determine patient's ability to tolerate sponge bath. Assist baseline vital signs and any hazards to the patient's vital functions with application of cold. Observe fluid and electrolyte status, especially in patients with elevated temperature. Assist condition of skin before after application to determine if application occur. Objective to reduce body temperature by conduction and evaporation. Number two, to relieve restlessness, thereby providing comfort and relaxation. General consideration, tap water can be used instead of cold. Number two, measure the client's temperature, pulse, and respiration to provide comparative baseline data. Number three, face, neck, arms, and legs will be sponge. Back is optional. Four, chest and abdomen need to be sponge further are no large superficial blood vessels in that area that aid the transfer of heat equipment water source of colant tap water basin for sponge bath washcloth preferably five and bath towel prepare the water to a temperature of about 29.5 degrees Celsius. Prepare the client to gain cooperation. Explain the face, neck, arms, legs, and back optional will be sponge and that the procedure takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Cover the patient properly to prevent shivering as various parts of the body are exposed to bathing. Wet four washcloths and fold into four parts. Wring them out so that they are very damp but not dripping. Washcloths need to be as moist as possible to be effective. Place washcloths in the axillae and groins. Leave washcloths in place for about 5 minutes or until they feel warm. Rewet and replace them as required during the bath. <music> 
Washcloths warm up relatively quickly in such vascular areas. Sponge the client's face with plain water, pat to dry, then sponge the neck. Sponging of the face and neck should be within 3 to 5 minutes. Friction of rubbing may raise body temperature. Sponge the arm and legs. Place a both towel under one arm and sponge the arm slowly and gently for about 3 to 5 minutes as tolerated by the client. Slow, gentle motions are indicated because firm rubbing motions increase tissue metabolism and heat production. Cover but not dry each part as it is sponge. Do the same thing in the lower extremities. Hold the washcloth briefly over the wrist and ankles. The anterior chest and abdomen are usually not sponge. No presence of large superficial blood vessels in this area. Check the patient's skin color and pulse rate during the bath. Do aftercare of equipment and change bed linings if sold to avoid transmission of infection. Check the patient's body temperature about 30 minutes after the bath to evaluate the effectiveness of the sponge bath. Document assessments including the temperature checks. Drop temperature is recorded, graph according to agency policy. Recording communicates the care provided in an accurate and firmly fashion.